Hello everyone, I am Chase here at Rocky Mountain ATVMC coming at you with our top five cold weather UTV accessories. So if you're one of those riders that refuses to let cold weather prevent you from having a good time when you're cruising around in your side-by-sides, well, I salute you. And today, we wanna to share with you our top five accessories, top five tips that are gonna help you stay warm and comfortable in that cold weather. Now, before we get started, I'm just gonna get this out of the way. That priority number one, the first thing we're always gonna recommend for any UTV rider in cold weather is you want to enclose your cab as much as possible. And what I mean by enclosing your cab is you wanna have full windshield, a rear window, a roof, lower doors and upper door panels, or for some machines, depending on what's available for it, you can have full one piece doors. That's gonna make the biggest difference and help you stay the most comfortable and the warmest in that cold weather. Now you can see that's what we've done right here with this XP1000 right behind me. We've got an aluminum roof, we've got our full glass windshield, our rear window, and then we've got our lower doors and we actually added the Polaris upper door panels and that has done a very good job of keeping out as much cold weather as possible. And when we cruise around in this thing, even the coldest temperatures, we're able to stay warm and comfortable. Now keep in mind that depending on what machine you have and what's available, there are full and cab enclosure kits and that's actually what we did for our 900 XP, our Ranger 900 XP, and that's what we use for when we're plowing snow, doing the maintenance in the winter time. We've got that full cab enclosure kit. It does a really good job. Now, if you wanna see what's available for your machine, well, it's really simple. On our homepage, on our website, if you go to our parts finder, just enter the make, the model, and the year of your UTV, and as you scroll down, you'll see all the machine-specific parts for your side-by-side, -side, and that's gonna help you get everything you need get to get your cab fully enclosed. But aside from that, we've got top five tips we wanna share with you, so let's get started with number one. All right, so my first tip is gonna be a seat heater. We have these installed in our side-by-sides here at Rocky Mountain, and I will tell you, they make a huge difference. We all love that feeling when it's cold outside, you get into a car or truck, you flip on that switch and the seat heater kicks on, and next thing you know, your buns are getting toasty warm. Well, your UTV can be the same way. So we have these from a couple different manufacturers. The one that I wanna show you today is from Heat Demon. So it's just a universal seat heater. Now, what's great about these is they're not that expensive and they're universal and they're just gonna install right underneath your seat cover. So once you have this underneath your seat cover, you're gonna have a little bit of wiring, but it's essentially plug and play, so it's not difficult to do. It's gonna come with instructions. And as you can see here, it's gonna come with an on-off switch. So just like when you get in that car or truck, you flip the switch on, your seat heater kicks on, and you're gonna have your keister toasty before you know it. What's also nice about these is they actually do come with a 24 inch disconnect cable. So if you need to take your seat out of your side by side, you can just disconnect the cable. It's really simple to do. But also you gotta keep in mind with these seat heaters is you don't have to use it for just your UTV. I've seen guys use these on adventure bikes. You can use it for ATVs and snowmobiles as well. So a lot of different uses. Well, that's gonna be my first tip is put some seat heaters in your side by side. All right, so tip number two is gonna be a heated steering wheel. So now that you got your keister nice and warm from those seat heaters you just put in your UTV, let's talk about your hands. Now I'm sure most of you out there already have a good cold weather glove, but if you don't, well, lucky for you, we have a big selection. We even have a buyer's guide where we show you our favorite cold weather glove, so make sure you give that a watch. But for me in cold weather, pet peeve, I hate when I can't feel my fingers. A heated steering wheel is gonna prevent that. It's gonna give you a lot more comfort. So we have a couple to choose from. You can see on the table, I've got two options. We've got one from Heat Demon. So this is a complete steering wheel. So this replaces the stock steering wheel that you have in your UTV. These do a great job, but if you want a less expensive route, something a little bit easier to, to take on and off, it's gonna be this Kimpex heated steering wheel cover. We actually have these installed one of our UTVs right now. It does a really good job. And what's nice about these is how quickly they install and is literally just gonna plug into your 12 volt socket in your UTV. And if you look here on the remote, you're gonna have a high and a low setting. It also has a timer. So you can actually kick this on for 30 or 60 minutes at a time and it will automatically shut off. So these do a great job. Now one question that I have been asked when it comes to heated steering wheels is just how warm do they get? Well, with this Kimpex heated weight steering wheel cover, it gets up to 50 degrees Celsius with about 122 degrees Fahrenheit. And the best comparison that I can give is if you've ever ridden a motorcycle or an ATV that has heated grips, it's gonna be very comparable to that. But they're gonna do a good job. And I'm telling you, these coupled with a good pair of cold weather gloves is going to do wonders when it comes to keeping your hands warm. So that's gonna be our second tip is a heated steering wheel. All right, so our third tip is gonna be a cab heater. If you wanna stay as warm as possible, especially in those really cold temperatures, hands down, this is the route to take. We have one of these installed in our Ranger 900 XP. 
I have plowed snow in that thing in the middle of winter with a t-shirt on in the cab and I was still getting hot. We have these available for a lot of different models, but what's nice about it is that even if you do get too hot, just like with your car, your truck's heater, you can control the temperature. You can also control how much airflow. And the defrost option on these actually really does come in handy. It's gonna help keep your windshield clear. So the ones I have on the table, I've got one for Polaris here. This one here on my left is gonna be for a Can-Am. And you can see this one's gonna mount on top of the dash The Polaris goes underneath. But the Can-Am, you can see that defroster is gonna be up here on the top. Now to get the most benefit out of these, remember, you're gonna wanna have your cab as, as enclosed as possible, like we talked about earlier. That's gonna trap as much heat inside. But there you go, that is our third tip, is gonna be a cab heater if you wanna stay warm, especially in those extremely cold conditions. All right, so for my fourth tip, it's gonna seem a little bit obvious for some of you out there, but it's gonna be for layering. This is something that I see people still struggle with a lot. You gotta remember that when you're out riding around in cold weather in UTV, you're gonna be outside your UTV sometimes as well, so you wanna make sure that you're layered correctly so that you can stay warm when you're outside of your UTV in those cold temperatures. So when it comes to layering, it's pretty simple. You're gonna have your base layer, your mid layer, and then your outer layer. We actually have a video where I talk about this in full detail, but I'm just gonna cover the basics today. So to get started, we'll talk about your base layer. So your base layer is there, it's gonna fit a little bit more snug to your body, and that's gonna help wick away moisture and keep moisture off your skin. It's gonna help you stay warm. Now with base layers, you're gonna see these made from a lot of different materials. We have a lot to choose from on our website. Some are from synthetic materials, polyester. One material that I'm a huge fan of is merino wool. You can see I've got this Climb Teton here. What I love so much about merino wool is it does a really good job of wicking away moisture, keeps you really warm, but it's also naturally odor resistant. So I can wear merino wool all day long, even if I'm sweating, and it doesn't stink bad at the end of the day. So that's why I'm a big fan of merino wool, and it is a really fine wool, so it's not gonna be itchy. So once you got your base layer picked out, next is gonna be your mid layer. Now the purpose of the mid layer is to trap body heat inside and keep it close to you to help keep you warm. And just like with your base layers, you're gonna have several different materials to choose from. With this Climb Inferno, you're gonna have a fleece lining on the inside. You can also see mid layers are gonna be made from down, some even from wool. But once you have your mid layer, then you're gonna have your outer shell, and that's gonna be your jacket. So that's gonna block the wind. You wanna have one that's waterproof. If you don't have a good winter jacket, waterproof jacket, we have a lot to choose from on our website. But that's gonna be your three layer system. Now keep in mind, a lot of your, your jackets, your shells, might have thermal built-in liners. Now those can be your mid layer, but if you wanna double up and have two mid layers, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just gonna keep you that much warmer. Now one last item that I will recommend, this is something that I wear all the time for any outdoor activity in cold weather, is gonna be a balaclava. These are lifesavers. We have a lot to choose from, but two I wanna show you. This is our ARC balaclava. It's nice and thin, very inexpensive. Or you can see I got the climb covert here. So I just put these on, I wear it right underneath my helmet and they do a really good job of just keeping wind out of my helmet and block the wind. And they do a really good job of just keeping that heat and just making it nice and warm inside your helmet. But that is gonna be my fourth tip, is layering correctly. All right, so our fifth and our final tip, it's another simple one, but if you do not have the two items that are on the table in front of me, well, you are missing out. And the first one is an insulated bottle. This is our Rocky Mountain insulated bottle, great value. You want something hot to sip on throughout the day, especially when you add your UTV. So insulated bottle is gonna keep your drinks nice and hot throughout the day. The other is a jet boil. I have one of these, probably one of my favorite outdoor accessories I have I use for camping, for hunting, anything I'm gonna be doing outdoors. And the reason they're so nice is because they give you boiling water in just a couple of minutes. So if you need a way to get hot water to put in your insulated bottle, a jet boil is gonna do that for you. And you can see right here on the table, they come with everything inside, everything you need. They pack up nice and small. They're super lightweight, great accessory to have for any outdoor activity. So that's gonna be my fifth and final tip is an insulated bottle and a jet boil. All right, everyone, so thanks for checking out our top five tips for cold weather riding in your UTV. To see any of the parts that we talked about today, you can click on the link or head over to our website at RockyMountainATVMC.com. And don't forget, a lot of these are machine specific, especially with the parts for enclosing your cab. So you wanna make sure that you enter the make, the model, and the year of your UTV. And as you scroll down, again, you'll see everything that's exact fitment for your machine. If you have any questions about anything we talked about today, comment below, give us a call, or chat live online. We will get your questions answered. And do not forget that orders over $75 ship free. And if you haven't yet, well, subscribe to us on YouTube. We do a lot of great how-to videos, product spotlights, gear guides, everything that you need to get rocking and rolling. I'm Chase here at Rocky Mountain. We'll see you on the trails.